Hello everyone, in this tutorial uh, we're going to learn about intents and how to switch between activities and how to use them. Intents are uh, a description and if we, we look here, uh, an intent is an abstract description of an operation to be performed. So if you want to, to switch between activities or to to send a message to another application, for example, you you must use intents. So uh, there are two types of intents: uh, explicit and implicit intents. And uh, we'll make a small program uh, for you to to learn about them. So uh, intents program. Let's start a new program new application intents no, let's just main let's click finish okay uh, now remember to edit the manifest with a lower mean SDK version and um, here, here is our, our main uh, main activity. Hmm. Okay, so let's uh, let's use something like this. Main activity. And let's drop in a, a button to to be able to switch to another activity. Okay. So go to second activity. Okay. Uh, let's declare it. If you watch the first movie, uh, you already know how to do to declare a button and, and to to attach an action to it. So set on click listener new view dot on click listener. Okay, and to create a new activity here. In Java, you have to first create a new class. So let's click uh, this project and choose class. So we name it second. And the super class activity. And you can also use here control and space. And let's click finish. Okay. Uh, now we must attach this activity a layout so we create a new layout actually le let's use this wizard second activity and uh, yeah this should be okay something hello from activity and, uh, this button close and here is it we close this activity And uh, how we attach uh, to this class this activity, we we first must call on create. Okay. And there is a function called set content view. Add dot layout. Right. Second. Uh, 
and uh, let's also um, type in the code for for the close close an application by writing finish okay so in our main we have to go to second activity that means second activity this one so we do it like this intent uh, second activity intent New intent and uh, here we have different constructors so we choose this one this and the class name we put second job dot class okay sorry about that okay and we simply call start activity start activity second activity this one and that's all let's uh, test our our code okay so let me choose and yeah, let's yes manually and uh, let's test it in gingerbread <laughs> I'm gonna pause the video until uh, the simulator loads so okay now that the emulator has booted it installed our program here and let's test it and it's gonna it's gonna um, trigger an error when we fix this and I'm gonna show you how to debug this so the first thing when you receive an error you look in uh, in the locket so you switch this view to DDMS from here you can of course and uh, click the locket view and here uh, you look this message and ba uh, basically the first line tells you what's wrong so here it says unable to find explicit activity class have you declared it in activity in your manifest xml and uh, i don't know if i'll to do but you must uh, declare every activity you you have in uh, the manifest so let's go to our manifest file and uh, let's declare this activity the second activity because main is already declared so uh, under name dot second and now uh, all is good and let's run one more time and there you go we we can uh, we can switch between activities uh, very easy uh, now let's uh, complicate uh, a little this program and uh, I'm gonna show you how to transmit information between activities so for example if uh, we add here a text box okay and uh, we write something here and we want to transmit it in our second activity how do we do that first of all we must uh, get uh, this edit text the text we want to transmit so let's uh, do it over here edit text one edit find ID, edit text, one, 
text okay now let's get the text text one edit text one get text to string okay and we must make uh, this edit text a final uh, uh, variable uh, final uh, um, variables are variables that you can uh, instantiate only once but uh, you don't have to worry about that uh, now okay now that we have this edit text before uh, we we start this activity we can attach attach this intent some information so second activity put extra and uh, uh, here the this function uh, you have to construct it with two parameters the first one is a name so example um, text text and uh, not boolean we, uh, this uh, has many con constructors so you can put here what you want this put uh, text from edit text one <coughs> okay uh, this being said let's switch to our second uh, class and uh, we must uh, put a text view here to be displayed okay so let's name it text view receiver okay let's declare it okay and we also make this final and here in fact we don't have to make the final because we don't uh, use it from within a function or we just uh, get the intent okay so string text info text receive received we uh, get uh, get intent get string what get string extra and this name uh, we must put the same uh, label name as in our, our main and now uh, that we have this text let's set uh, the text of the receiver set text and text received okay let's test it so hello from first activity and there we go uh, they communicate now what is this uh, red line here I don't understand okay well as an exercise for you let me think of an exercise for you so this is your homework uh, in the main activity you write a number let's say we write 125 and in the second activity we calculate the square root of 125 and uh, we pass it uh, to main activity uh, the result and uh, this is uh, something uh, that uh, this is how it should work okay so I, I hope you understood uh, the idea well this is your homework I trust uh, you'll put uh, some exercise into it 
and uh, until next time have fun with android